Hi friends, very good morning. Welcome to Anu Academy. Very good morning friends. In today's class in our channel, we are going to discuss non-conventional energy resources. Okay, so this uh, class which we are going to discuss, which will be using, which will be useful for your upcoming semester examinations. Okay, so let us start today's class. If you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel. Please like and share our channel. Okay. Now we will start uh, discussing. We will start with uh, renewable energy resources. Okay. We will start with this heading. First of all, we will come to know what are the resources are there with the resources and uh, where we will be using those resources. Whatever the energy is generated from our resources and uh, application point of view, both the things we will understand in today's class. Okay, so if you are getting a question regarding uh, this uh, renewable energy resources, you can write all these points which we are going to discuss in today's class. Okay, so now we will start discussing. See, these are the resources. You can see the resources. This is uh, solar. We will start with the uh, solar. So first we will come to know what is the resources and next we will discuss uh, applications. Okay, form of delivered energy that is the application of the related uh, uh, resource okay so first we'll start with this solar total solar you can see here total solar radiation absorbed by the earth and its atoms and its atmosphere is 3.8 into 10 to the power 2 4 j by y r okay so application you can see here application low temperature heat space heating water heating and electricity okay so solar we can see in our domestic application for home application household applications nowadays uh, in each and every uh, sector they are adopting the solar energy right so to, in order to save money in order to save the power all these uh, applications uh, money point of view time point of view energy point of view okay so all of uh, uh, humans all of the uh, citizens are adopting this solar energy like that you can understand this solar energy next with uh, next resource is the wind the kinetic energy available in the atmosphere circulation is 7.5 into 10 to the power 20 j so and here you can see electricity mechanical energy for pumping transport okay so wind uh, with this wind what is happening with this wind with this uh, wind the energy is transferred with that uh, so once the wind uh, blades are rotated uh, connectivity of these blades are connected to the turbine and once the turbine is rotated they are getting the electricity okay like that we can understand regarding this uh, wind next uh, resource is biomass okay biomass total solar radiation absorbed by plants is 1.3 into 10 to the power 21 j by y r so biomass we know how we are getting this uh, biomass right biomass means with this uh, cow dung whatever the uh, wastage plants wastage and uh, kitchen wastage vegetable wastage okay so whatever the wastage which we are getting from natural resources the wastage is uh, decomposed with the decomposed we are getting this uh, biomass especially with the dung animal wastage uh, animal dung okay cow dung buffalo dung with this dung we are getting this uh, biomass okay so you can see here application high temperature uh, heat uh, cooking smelting biogas uh, cooking mechanical power etc and you can see alcohol also transport okay so all this comes under the application of this uh, biomass and uh, resource next you can see the geothermal the heat flux from the earth's interior through the surface is 9.5 into 10 to the power 20 j by y r so this is geothermal so you can see application low uh, temperature heat for bathing space and water heating and this is also electricity is generated with this geothermal next you can see here next one more resource we are having the tidal energy dissipated in connection with slowing down the rotation of the earth as a result of tidal action is around 10 to the power 26 j by y r so with this tidal also we are getting the electricity okay with this tidal also we are getting the electricity next resource we can see the waves 
the amount of energy stored as kinetic energy is waves may be of the order of 10 to the power 18 j and uh, here with this also we are getting the electricity and hydro okay hydro see the annual precipitation land amounts to about 1.1 into 10 to power 17 kilograms of water and uh, with this uh, hydro also we are getting the electricity okay so uh, regarding uh, renewable energy resources if you are getting a question you have to add all these points with the help of this table so that uh, you can score good marks in your upcoming semester examination okay now next uh, we will see classification of uh, energy sources okay compulsory you will get a question classification of energy sources what are energy sources how energy sources are classified under each and every classification we can find what are the sub classification of the particular uh, resources of the energy okay so first uh, see here we will start with based on usability of energy and based on traditional use based on long term long term availability based on commercial application and uh, based on the origin okay so under this again we can find the subdivisions see you can see here based on usability of energy you can see primary resources like coal crude oil this comes under the primary resources and secondary resources you can see electrical energy thermal energy and hydrogen fuels right next you can see here based on traditional use these are the conventional fossil fuels nuclear uh, hydro for what are the fossil fuels how we are getting uh, kerosene for household applications the in that kerosene also we, we will get uh, white kerosene you know, for cooking purpose this comes under this fossil fuels nuclear hydrogen all these are of a conventional type right so once conventional means once we are consuming this it will be finished okay so that is the difference between conventional and uh, non-conventional so non-conventional is solar wind biomass okay solar wind biomass this comes under this non-conventional as part of the based on traditional use next you can see based on long term availability non-renewable fossil fuels like uranium right and uh, renewable is solar power geothermal tidal same here also it is of uh, same kind next uh, here based on commercial application commercial energy resource uh, first attack subdivision and next is the non commercial energy and here you can see based on origin right based on origin you can see we can here we can see many types are there fossil fuels uh, energy fossil fuels energy nuclear energy hydro energy solar energy wind energy biomass energy geothermal energy tidal energy ocean thermal energy ocean wave energy okay so all these things you have to add uh, which in your answer which you are going to write for classification of uh, energy sources okay so that's all friends for today's class uh, i think all of you understood today's uh, two important topics which comes under non-conventional energy resources if you are having any doubts please post in the comments box if you need any additional information please post in the comments box i will give you a reply okay so please tell, discuss with your friends please tell your friends to subscribe our channel for upcoming classes okay so thank you very much thank you for watching